G'day everyone, JT here. Earlier today on Twitter, Twitter user Jeffrey Wright or Print 3D channel had the following video of his 3D print that he had done. It was a star in one orientation and the text 2019 in the other. Star 2019. So the conversation briefly went, this was very quick to print but probably takes hours to design. So I had given this some thought a week or so ago when I'd seen something similar and I've decided to make a tutorial. tutorial. Uh, we need some text. I'm doing individual letters. Uh, the reason we're doing individual letters is so that uh, when the text is um, put close to each other or kerned tightly or tracked tightly, we have control over the individual letters. Uh, currently I'm on a Mac and I am option shift dragging between the various characters, F for focus, and I'm making duplicates. So just using the arrow keys, I'm making sure that the uh, objects kiss or intersect because although it looked sort of flat. The star face was not, in fact, flat. It had um, shapes that were numeric-like coming out of it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Make sure the nine kisses, which it does. Select all, top view, F for focus. Turn off perspective so we can see what's actually going on. So we're going to get these little notches and this hump appearing on the front face of our star but that's okay you'll get the idea why if you want to you could make your own flat panel here uh, but for this exercise we're not going to uh, the nine in fact needs just a little bit of space there let's do it like that and we'll see how that goes. All right, perspective back on, home view. Uh, what I need to do is select all and group. I'm using Command G. I'm looking at the overall width of the uh, text, uh, 43.59. Let us make it 44. I'm pressing the Tab key, 44, and it grew fractionally. So 44 is a nice round number. Now what we also need to do is make it 44 millimeters tall. Tab key, 44, enter. We now effectively have a square. Perspective off. You can see pretty much that that's a square. All right, perspective back on, home view. We now have the uh, model or design that we're now going to punch some holes out of. Um, Tinkercad does allow you to do hole punching. So let me grab a box, let me elevate it, let me move it across slightly. So it's through there. Now if I group these, Command G, we now have a design that has a hole out of it. All right, well, that's great but it doesn't look like a star. So what we're going to have to find is an object that looks like the inverse of a star. So not a normal star because that'll punch a hole out of it. We want the corners out. We want the under bit out. All right, let's grab a star. Home view, star. Uh, I need to rotate this guy. Uh, 18 degrees so that these two legs here touch the ground uniformly. Uh, there is a rotation handle here 90 degrees D for drop so it drops it onto the work surface plane so those two legs are now touching that area. Uh, 44 was the magic number so I'm now just growing that 44 I'm going to change my accuracy to very small and we'll get it closer. That's good enough for what we're talking about. Okay, uh, it does need to be extruded 
wider so that we have it going through the entire uh, shape we're going to turn this into a hole now as I said before uh, select all alpha line up center this way center this way and center that way if we punch that out we'd have a hole here we want the red areas to be the holes so we need to do something a little bit funky uh, it doesn't need to be that big we're effectively needing to make a mold a mold where this cube that I'm making now this ginormous cube uh, we'll move this out the way this ginormous cube which if we center this star into so click shift click alpha line up center that didn't center as I would have expected uh, I know why Blip. center center okay now to demonstrate I'm going to turn that into a hole and you can see that that star shape is pretty much in the center of that ginormous cube okay I'm setting the cube back to solid uh, which happens to be S H for hole S for solid now if I group those two objects together but not the 2019 just these two command G there's actually now a void inside this cube in the shape of that star extrusion S for oh, H for hole so that's a void as for solid grabbing these two objects lining up this one line up here line up here line up here I now have the 2019 sitting where the void of the star is I'm now going to turn this guy into a hole so you can see that uh, lucky we did because it's not quite right line up there that's better so you can see now the red bit is what's going to be left so that's our star shape select all group drop to the work plane perspective off F focus front view that's a star top view that's your 2019 home view so now we have a star which when flipped is 2019 so the tricky bit is the mold making technique I hope that has inspired you to make your own little 2019 trinkets or anything else. Um, any questions that you have, leave a comment below. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, as I say, questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Follow me on Twitter. That'll be in the description somewhere. And Happy New Year to you all. Thanks again.